I would love that for me. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Christine, and today I'm gonna be bringing you the only self-tanner that you need in your life in 2019. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Um, the first brand I'm gonna start with is Saint Tropez or Saint Tropez. I don't know exactly how to say it, um, but it is a really popular brand that I know kind of started um, the self tanning industry. A lot of people have probably tried this. Um, you can get it at Ulta and Sephora, um, and it is one of the pricier brands. So I believe it retails for like $42 to $45. So the first product we're going to talk about is the Saint Tropez, Saint Tropez, I, I don't know what it is, but it is the In Shower Tanning Lotion Golden Glow Medium. So basically this says to put it on in the shower, wait three minutes and then shower off. So in theory it sounds nice like, ooh, get a tan while I'm showering, but nobody wants to stand in the shower for three, who can even stand in the shower for three minutes? Like, what are you gonna do? I don't know really why I got this because I like like an instant tan. This is more of a gradual tan, but this would be probably better for somebody that's newer into tanning or that has a way lighter skin tone that just wants kind of a good glow um, and doesn't mind doing something, you know, daily. Um, but again, I just wanna apply the tan, wake up and it be tan. And this one is gonna take a little bit longer. The next product is the Saint Tro, we're gonna go with Saint Tropez because I think that's how you pronounce it. Bronzing spray. If you can see that, um, this one I actually picked up at TJ Maxx. It says six ninety nine. This I used once, um, and it's a spray, so it gets everywhere. So that's what I don't like about it. Also, is not the dark color. Um, so I really wasn't the biggest fan of this, but again, like this first one, maybe if you're newer into tanning or have a lighter skin tone, this would be a good product for you if you like more of a spray application. So a really good brand still. And like I said, you get it, at, I got it at TJ Maxx, so look out for it there. And then the next product, if you can see this, is the Saint Tropez self tan dark bronzing lotion. This is a bronzing lotion. So I actually used this a lot back in the day when I first started tanning. Um, the only thing I find with the lotions is that they almost like don't apply as nice as a mousse would. Um, but I did mix this with like my regular moisturizer um, to move it around easier and it's nice. Our pay has more of an olive green undertone and you can see that while you're applying it. Um, it doesn't really have a, kind of has like a coffee scent. It's not bad, I don't think at all. Um, it's not offensive. So this one, again, if you like a lotion application um, and you like the olive undertones, this one might be a good one for you. Um, the next one is this one. It is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Dark Bronzing Spray. So it's gonna be the same as this, but in the dark color. And I actually got this one at TJ Maxx too, which I find this weird because this one was $14.99 and this one was $6.99. So what the hell, TJ Maxx? Anyways, this one has much better color in my opinion. Um, it's obviously darker than the first one because it is the dark. Um, and it is the spray application. So I feel like this would be good if you had like a self tanning tent or a shower that you didn't care if it was going everywhere. But this is just too hard of an application for me. I don't have time for shit to be flying all over the bathroom and then have to wipe the whole bathroom down. So if you do like sprays um, and you like the dark color, this one would be good. Next up is actually one that was my favorite for a while. This is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Dark Bronzing Mousse. So this is my favorite application is a mousse and this is dark. It does have the olive undertone, like I was saying, um, but it was like my tried and true forever. So 
This one is probably my favorite out of all the Saint Tropez options is the bronzing mousse in dark. Next up is probably one you've heard of. Can you see that? Yeah. It is a Bondi Sands Ultra Dark Self Tanning Foam. So this one I'm sure you've seen all over YouTube, all over Instagram, all over influencers promoting it. Um, it is an Australian made self tanner. I ordered this hoping that since every Australian person is like super tan, super dark, that it would be that tan. Um, and to be honest with you, I didn't really think that this was that dark. Um, it was a good color and actually it smells like coconuts. It smells really good. But this one, I just didn't see that it was super dark. It was, you know, almost kind of the um, regular Saint Tropez color. But I will say that it smells really nice. It feels really nice. Um, I don't know, maybe if they came out with like an extra dark, well, this is ultra. Yeah, this should just be called dark. I don't know. This does retail for, I believe like $24. So it's way cheaper than any Saint Tropez product. Um, and it's still a fine tan. Okay, next up is the Saint Mor Moritz, Moritz. More Morris, I don't know. Fast tan, 60 minute tan. Um, okay, so this one is one that I found just looking around the aisles at Ulta, um, and I noticed the price tag. So this one retails for about $12. I didn't leave it on. It says to leave it on for three hours. I always tan at night and then wake up in the morning and shower off. I did leave this one on all night, and I was actually really impressed with this again this is more of an olive green undertone it does have like a original self tanner smell like back when they did not know how to make them smell good so that is one thing that i don't like about this if you're on a budget you need something olive and can get pretty dark this is a really good one um and then again you can get it at ulta um if you have points or whatnot but this is a budget friendly pretty good self tanner honestly i think that this is very comparable with the Saint Tropez. This is $12, this is 45. Next up is, if you can see that, a brand called Mind Tan. This one in particular is the Liquid Bronze Dry Oil Self Tan Foam, and it's supposed to be a one hour express tan. So funny story about this, I actually, again, which I don't know why all these are from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Well, not all of them, a few. Um, that's so random. Like, why would I buy that at TJ Maxx? But anyways, this one is from Marshall's and I was just walking through the aisles. I saw the bottle and it caught my eye. Um, it's like a pretty bronze color with gold on it. And I was like, all right, it was $11.99. So I was like, I'm going to try it. I was very, very impressed by this and I'd never heard of the company. I believe um, it also is an Australian company. If I'm not mistaken um, but what I liked about this was first of all I think it smells pretty good pretty similar to the Bondi Sands kind of a coconutty um, smell but what I really liked about this was the color payoff was really good it again is an olive undertoned self tanner which most are um, but what I loved about this was I woke up and my skin felt super soft because it has um, Coconut oil, hemp seed oil, jojoba oil, jojoba oil. How do you say that? I don't know. Argan oil, rosehip oil, grapeseed oil, and avocado oil. So it really made your skin feel soft. And I really appreciate that because some self tanners um, don't do that. They kind of like dry out your skin and not make it feel as good. So I was pretty impressed with this one. This was, is still probably one of my favorites. Um, it's gotten beaten out by another one, but we'll get to that. Um, but this, if you see it in Marshalls or TJ Maxx, um, I would buy it. Staying with that same company, this is another one from Mind Tan. This is the Fitness Tan Endurance Ready. Three hour, I'm sorry, one hour express tan. So I was suckered into the marketing. This was an Instagram ad that popped up. And when I saw like fitness, you know, 
I was like, ooh, a tan that maybe will stay on through my workout. So, and that's exactly what this is. Um, the point is, is that, you know, if you do work out and sweat a lot, um, it's supposed to stay on longer. So, to be honest, the color payoff for this one just wasn't dark enough for me. Um, it did last a while, so I will give them that. If you don't like them as dark and you do work out a lot and sweat, or maybe you just have a job that you sweat a lot, this one might be really good for you because it did last a long time. Um, this one doesn't really have a smell to it either. I forgot about that. It's not like an offensive smell, but I think this company is really good. And this one I got off of Amazon. So again, it, it's still budget friendly. It's not as expensive as like what you're gonna find in Sephora. So give this a try. Um, if you sweat a lot and you need it to last long. So the next self tanner is from the brand Norvell and it's the Dancing with the Stars Perfection Self Tanning Mousse. So why I got this um, was just for the brand Norvell. So if I ever do get booth spray tans, um, I really like the Norvell brand instead of like the Versa Spa or Versa Pro or whatever it is. Um, I feel like it has like a violet undertone, so it's never orange, like no matter how dark you go with their spray tans. Um, so this one is pretty good. Um, it was nothing that like blew my socks off, but if you want a dark violet undertone tan, this is pretty good. Again, I got this at Marshall's, it was like $4.99, um, but you can get it off Amazon or just any um, Norvell self tanner will be good if you do like a violet deeper like purple um, tan this This also is a mousse. So I love the application of that um, And it says right on the bottle anti orange formula. So if you're scared of Self tanners or looking orange. This one would be a good one since it is that purple undertone Okay, so the next one Is one I'm sure you've seen everywhere all over social media people promoting it, everything. This is the Loving Tan Two Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. And this is in the color dark. So it says on the bottle, natural olive color. So again, it's gonna be like all of these first ones with more of a green and you can see it in the bottle where it leaked a little bit, it is green. So it comes out green. Um, so this has a lot of hype. The price tag for this is pretty pricey it's similar to the Saint Tropez ones it's like $45 people like rave over this so I finally was like you know what I'm gonna bite the bullet give it a try um, and to be honest with you it's not my favorite I know it's a two-hour Express but again I leave them on all night um, I just honestly didn't see a difference I think if you wanted something like this like the Bondi Sands is like half the price um, even this one from Ulta is pretty comparable to this. I know I've seen like on Instagram that the photos people look super dark and tanned, um, but I didn't really find that. I was kind of surprised after I showered it off, it wasn't that dark. So um, I know people are gonna be like, oh my God, I love it, but I'm gonna have to say that this is not my favorite. This is the only one I have tried though from Loving Tan, so I can't say that the other ones aren't good. This two hour express dark one is just, not my favorite. Okay guys, so we've come to the end and I'm about to tell you the only self tanner that you need ever again is, I hope you can see that. It is the brand Sosu by Suzanne Jackson. It's called Dripping Gold Luxury Tanning and this is the ultra dark mousse. So this is an Irish brand. I found this on Pretty Little Things website. Um, they just have like a beauty section and the bottle is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This is so good. So this, unlike any of these that I've tried or any tan ever that I've tried, has like a red, I don't wanna say red, but it has more of a warm undertone rather than like an olive or a purple. It, I would, I guess I would say red, but it gives you more of like a fresh off the beach, um, like sun kissed tan. I don't, I just like literally have no words because that's how good it is. And I am 
so picky, so picky on them. First of all, it applies amazing. I think it smells good and I, maybe I only think it smells good because I'm obsessed with it, but I think it smells fine. Um, again, the price of this is like 27 US dollars, I believe, which is kind of comparable to like the Bondi sand. Um, and is almost half the price of the Saint Tropez. This applies amazing. Um, it has oils in it. Vitamin A, vitamin E, hyaluronic acid, and natural extracts of goji berry and chamomile. So this, right when you're applying it, just makes your skin feel so good. And I've never felt this with a self tanner, but the next morning after I apply it and I wake up, my skin feels so soft, so soft. Um, and then I always shower after I sleep with a tan. And usually with like most all of these, I'm like washing it down, watching it wash down the drain, which is frustrating when you put a tan on, it's not like the, you know, it's not our favorite activity. Um, and then you shower and you feel like it's all washing off. This one does not, like I, I wake up, look at the color and I love it and then I used to be like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, go shower and it's gonna be half the color. This one is the same color after you shower that it is when I wake up in the morning. And it looks so natural. It looks like you laid out for five days straight on a beach. It wears super well. So during the week that I'm wearing it, I'm not seeing it get dry and patchy and all weird like a lot of these self tanners and other ones do. Um, it fades super nicely, very natural. And then one of my favorite parts about this is how easily it comes off. So some self tanners, you're sitting there scrubbing your skin off for an hour trying to get it off and it hurts, like physically hurts. This one comes off so easily. I mean, I can use a washcloth, gently rub it off and it comes off. I know they do sell one of the tan eraser things with like an exfoliating mitt. Um, and I do want to try that just to see about it because I'm so obsessed with this. Um, but you guys, I'm not kidding. This, you have to try it. I think it's getting so popular because people are like stunned by, I don't know how they made this. Maybe that's why it's come out a bit later than some other self tanners just because they had to perfect the formula. It does come in medium dark and this is the ultra dark. And then they also come in lotions. So again, if you're like a lotion person, you like that application better, try the lotion. Um, I do wanna try the dark. I know this is ultra dark and I like it super dark, but I've seen pictures of people using dark and it just looks so pretty. Um, so I just wanna try it, see if it's like any different color or what, but this is the best self tanner ever, 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 ever. I will leave the website of the company below. And if you have tried it, let me know what you think. I haven't heard like a bad thing about it. So I would love to know if any of you guys have used it um, or just in general, what self tanners you guys like, what undertones you prefer. I think it's interesting with everybody's different skin, like what looks best on them or what color they prefer. So leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite self tanner is. Maybe you like one of these. So yeah, that's all I have for today. I hope this was helpful. If you are in the market for a new self tanner or if you're like a self tanner junkie like me and just want to try out all the new things. Please like this video if you liked it. Go ahead and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.